And Kingsville drivers have a king size problem, and it's one we're all too familiar with. We're talking about those potholes. Michaela Chavez explains what the city's doing to smooth things over. This is what happens whenever you drive through potholes here in Kingsville. They fall apart. You can find potholes like these in a lot of roads in the area, but the city's heard you and they plan to change that. I can't redo all of them at the same time, so we have a street improvement program where we go through and systematically review our streets and then go repave them through a number of different methods. There are three ways to fix potholes. The city manager says when Kingsville streets were first built, designers did not anticipate the type of traffic we have nowadays. We can tell that there were times when they were most likely challenged on how to build a quality street back then. And so what we have to get back to today is replacing those streets. The city uses a pavement condition index number to choose which streets need what type of work and when. That's a number from one to 100. 100 being a perfect street, one being, you're not even sure if there's a street there anymore, right? The street department also drives streets every day to match their eyes with the computer systems, but patching them up isn't working anymore. Instead of just putting band-aids and continuing to patch this, and they really do, they send uh, workers out to do that all the time, but it doesn't last. So my hope is that they will actually resurface the road like it should be. Right now, the city is working on redoing parking lots, in March, they'll focus on streets that are on their list and within their budget until the end of the year. Head to our website to find out if your street is scheduled to be worked on. It may take some time, but no matter how big or small the pothole is, it can always be fixed. Reporting from Kingsville, Michaela Chavez, Chris 6 News.